Oh, hey guys. Sorry, I just noticed there's a Hobby Lobby opening up. I have never been to Hobby Lobby in my life. I have no idea what it is, but I know they are closed on Sundays because I, I happened to be next to a Hobby Lobby and I tried to go there on a Sunday. And I was like, darn. Anyway, happy Sunday. It's, I'm running off three or four hours of sleep. I was having a rough morning. Oh my gosh, physically. But church, church went well. <laughs> it wasn't the best service in the world, but we were struggling this morning. We had some issues, but I know God spoke to us, so it was good. Sometimes you just can't hit a home run every time. <laughs> we're human. We have our moments. We try. But to God be the glory anyway. You just got to move on. Anyway, I am at Bonefish Grill right now. I don't know if y'all can see that. I've never been. I've always been curious, but we're actually here for a surprise birthday party. Shh. So don't tell people. Even though this is going to be this is this will be in the past. This will be yesterday by the time I upload this. So <laughs> Ooh, inception. So yeah. It is a crazy day already. I feel so tired. Uh, I'm in so much pain, but you never know it because I wear a smile. Because Jesus is Lord. <laughs> well, what's seriously though? I mean, it's nothing excruciating. It's just, I feel uncomfortable. I guess my main problem right now is I'm just like very, very tired. Because I'm so used to having like a second shift person's schedule. And then suddenly it's like, oh, Sunday's here. Time to just switch to first shift and function. Well, it's basically second, first and second shift. It's like double shifting every Sunday. But that's okay. We'll get it. I really need to shift myself back because I don't really have any specific reason that I'm on a second shift schedule. I say that like I'm even working. But, oh my gosh, it's just, I stay up late, like almost every night. I like to because it's, that's when everybody shuts up and I can live my life. <laughs> no, it's when I have like the peace and quiet. It's like during the day, it's like everyone's running amok and I'm too tired. Like, I don't want to hear all this like busyness and craziness, this madness going on. So oh, the struggle is so real. So I stay up late so I can get peace and quiet and I can do my studying. I can do my work because I have ADD and if there are people like Uster, I'm focusing on them because I'm just like, oh, what are they doing? Oh, squirrel. Ooh, what is that? Is that kitchen available for food? I don't know what that was. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I need, excuse me. I should probably go in there before the birthday guests arrive. FYI, Aaron, get your butt out of this car. Stop vlogging like a strange person. I think my mom's car is here. Okay, bye. Hey, y'all. Well, it is several hours later. It's about eight o'clock, I think. Church was like three hours long. Okay, two and a half. It was good service though, God moved. So that <laughs> was very amazing. Um, oh my gosh though, I was in so much pain during service. <laughs> like, I didn't make actually make a video to really talk about this and like go into detail with like this Lyme disease and the color, other co-infections of Bartonella, Babesia, and like something else, I don't even remember. But seriously, it's so hard. Because usually when I'm at church, or in public, I usually act. I put on an act. I act like I'm not in pain, or I act like I'm all there. But it's not usually the case. But I do, like, my greatest job at masking all the pain at church, because I'm usually, like, on the platform. I'm usually singing, or I'm at the keyboard. And I want to give Jesus my best. I want him to give, I want to give him like my joy. Okay. I'm going to give him like, do a good job for him. And not just be up there and be like, and then people be like, Felicia, what you doing? <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Except when I come here, this is not my church. This is just one I've been visiting for like almost four years now. But by the time I come here, it's like I can't even put on a front anymore. I mean, I'll sit in like the front row and then I will, my knees will be aching. Like every joint in my body is like very achy. And some nights, like tonight, I was falling asleep all service because 
I still struggle with insomnia here and there, with like this disease thing. Um, I get headaches. Yeah, I have a headache every Sunday night, like during service, and like I'm just hunched over in my seat like that. It's and it's hard because I I haven't always been this way, but now I am a very social person. I am a social butterfly. Unless I am in pain. Because if I'm in pain, it's like... It's just really hard for me. Because it's... The sickness is so debilitating that... I can't even focus on getting to know people. And it stinks. Because like, I want to get to know people. And like the church I belong to, like the denomination, we're a very close-knit church. We're very like family-oriented. Like, we're like a huge family, so we like pray for each other, we know each other's needs. At least that's the way it ought to be. <laughs> and just spread love. But with this sickness, it's so hard to do that. It's very frustrating. And people tend to misinterpret it as either shyness or just disinterest. Or like I'm standoffish just because I don't want people around me. It's like that is not it. That is that couldn't be anything further from the truth. It's like I love people, but it's just it's so hard to reach out when you can hardly get out your seat. Like I cannot stand like the entire song service. Usually after the first song, I have to sit down and like I get so hot very easily. Like, I'll whip out, like, a pamphlet or something and, like, fan myself. Oh, my gosh. And the, it, it feels like there's a rhinoceros that will, like, hug around my neck and hang on my back. And it's just, like, crazy down. But, yeah, Lyme disease. It's It ain't no joke. Like, it's just... It completely debilitates you some days. I mean, it, it has ups and ups and downs, but I guess like the worst of it is that it's an, pretty much an invisible disease unless you're really, really suffering. Because I can hide my symptoms so well. You know, like anxiety tends to surface. It's usually, I feel like it's kind of like a byproduct of symptoms because like if I'm starting to like my heart's starting to like palpitate or whatever and I'm feeling a little like woozy oh yeah lightheadedness and like vertigo like things nausea like when I start feeling that way like my mind will start running it's like oh what if it's worse than it is <laughs> and then that will usher me into like a, ah. I'm doing better now with like the whole anxiety thing because I've been dealing with anxiety for like almost 21 years now and at this point it's like you know what it's just it's just a joke it's there these feelings of impending doom that never comes. It's like, I'm, I'm pretty much pretty sure that nothing's actually gonna occur now. So it's like anxiety's just a big joke and I, I'm a lot better with it. I'm not completely over it, but it's just very frustrating. But so yeah, this is my night. I am on my way to Chili's with a bunch of friends. I do not care how tired I am. I need some fellowship. Give me my friends. We are going to eat. Well, thank you guys for joining me again. It's it's always appreciated. I know I can be a little boring, uh, but hey, it's my diary. If you think I'm boring as a person, my personal thoughts, that's your opinion. You were entitled for it, and I could not care, give two cares <laughs> as far as your opinion. You can tell me I'm boring to my face and it won't even hurt me, but I love you guys. Y'all behave, because I'm not. Somebody's got else is going to do that. <laughs> I'm Toast JK.